Why is my FPS capped at 30? If you experience FPS capped to 30 to 60 or if your frame rate is unstable, it is most likely related to your sync settings. Enabling sync will force the game to run maximum at your monitor's refresh rate and will in turn will eliminate tearing. Additionally, why is my frame rate capped? FPS caps are usually due to in-game, driver, or power setting. Configuring these settings properly will allow you to increase your FPS. Why is my FPS capped at 60? If you notice that your FPS are capped at 60, sync is most likely set to double or triple buffered. Please try to turn sync off to unlock your FPS. If you notice that your FPS are unstable and that your game is stuttering, sync is most likely set to double buffered. What does V-Sync do? Vertical sync, more popularly known as sync, synchronizes the refresh rate and frame rate of a monitor. GPU manufacturers develop this technology to solve screen tearing. Screen tearing happens when your GPU displays parts of multiple frames at once. As a result, displays may appear split along a horizontal line. Why do I only have 60 FPS? You probably have a 60 Hz monitor and V-Sync turned on which locks your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate, which can be fixed by turning V-Sync off. How do I turn off sync? You can turn off this of in the game setting and in the NVIDIA control panel or AMD's control panel. You probably have a 60 Hz monitor and V-Sync turned on which locks your frame rate to your monitor's refresh rate, which can be fixed by turning V-Sync off. Does 144 Hz matter at 60 FPS? A 144 Hz monitor can display any frame rate up to 144 FPS with no issue. That includes the 60 FPS that the other monitor can display. Anything above 144 FPS will look exactly the same as 144 FPS with the same tearing issue from before. Is sync good for FPS? Does it make a big difference? Sync only helps with screen tearing and it only really does that by limiting FPS when necessary. If your monitor can't keep up with the FPS of a particular game, then sync can make a big difference. However, sync cannot improve your resolution, colors, or brightness levels like HDR. Does vertical synchronization lower FPS? Vertical synchronization is far from a perfect solution and can negatively affect your gaming experience, even if it is useful and working as intended. If a monitor and a game are having trouble sensing up, then vertical synchronization can lower your frame rate significantly to try to find a point where they can. Is vertical synchronization better on or off? There's no tearing or overprocessing to fix, so the only effect vertical synchronization will have is potentially worsening your frame rate and causing input lag. In this case, it's best to keep it off. When used correctly, vertical synchronization can help smooth out issues and keep your graphics processor from running red hot. Should you turn on anti-aliasing? Should I turn anti-aliasing on or off? If your visuals look great and you have a high resolution display, you don't need to turn on anti-aliasing options. Anti-aliasing is for people who experience those unsightly jaggies and want to smooth out the edges of their graphics. This video has come to an end. If I helped you, then subscribe to the channel and like this video. This motivates me to work on this channel, so ask you to subscribe to the channel right now.